and try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such a blessing that there will be no room enough to receive. Amen. Amen. Bring that tithe into work. The store house. That's the church. That they need to work food in my house. So the idea of God is that there should be constant food in his house. Why? He knows there will be people who will be constantly hungry and looking for food. Now that food is not just limited to physical food, anything material. That talks about material. Anything in the material realm, physical and material realm, that's what he's talking about. Amen. So, paying for this place, paying for the electricity, paying for the gas, all those things are what? In the material realm. All of them are in the material realm. It's part of the food. Amen. Amen. That is why we can maintain this place for people who don't know God to come in and feel comfortable and they'll know God. Amen. Amen. That is what God is looking for. To create an environment that people who don't know God can come in feel comfortable. Get to know God. So he said, bring it to my storehouse so that there may be food. And he said, try me, not to test me in this time. God says, He's throwing a challenge to you and I. We should test him. What is the challenge? If I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out such a blessing. That there will not be enough room to receive. Amen. Amen. Now, God's challenge to us is to give our time and see what He will do in our life. The problem we have is that we are not giving the time, although we call it the time. Hmm? And because you are not giving the time, but you are naming the time in your head. You are conveying, you are giving your time because you call it the time. So your five pounds, your ten pounds, you call it your time. And you have it written at the back of Enzo, time. So you go home feeling very good. I went, I gave my time. But you look at your place and you know it is not your time. And the God who gave you the job knows the place rate. Because he gave you that job in the first place. So, for the church, everything you give, once you call it your time, we say, it's your time. We have to agree, isn't it? Uh -huh. But not God. Amen. Not God. For God, he knows all things. So, you will be giving that one twentieth, one thirtieth for ten years, fifteen years, and you are not seeing the result. You are thinking, giving this thing for a long time. It doesn't seem to be worth it. The truth of the matter is that most of us are not giving what we are supposed to give. Yes, good. It is part of your income, yes. Yes, part of your income. Amen. But 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 the, the issue here is that God wants food to be in his house. And he said that he's going to give us a blessing. Now, we have to do it. Consistently to receive the blessing that comes with it. Then the Lord said, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground. The devourer, the one who comes and eats your money. You have to say, Oh, what do you do with it? And you can't account. Look at your 
face it and look at your savings in the camp. Just and you, are, and you are wondering, did I actually earn that money this year? She said, I will refuse the devourer. Because there is a devourer you cannot see. Who can come and eat up the money? There are different ways of eating the money. Mama. I will eat some. The washing machine will eat some. Uh, the heater will break. Uh, they, they will call you from back home and they will tell you all kinds of uh, things. By the time you realize that Yuvara has devoured the thing. Everything you are spending it on looks reasonable. Is it? It looks reasonable. If your car breaks, you have to fix it. It's reasonable. If your washing machine breaks, you have to fix it. It's all reasonable. There's nothing unreasonable about it. God can compete on you such that those things will be minimum. Are you understanding? I'm not saying it will not happen at all. It happens to all. But it will be minimum. Sickness will be reduced to nothing. So that all the money you will be spending on all those things will be that is why it's not dependent on how much you end. God protects for you to keep at the end of the day. Amen. 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 I'll come I'll come to you. Amen. Amen. So here we see God telling us very clearly what he wants the night for. So that there is food in his house. Now, what God is looking for is not for his benefit. Heaven is his throne and the earth is his food too. The whole earth. This place is too big for God. Are you understand? Who is enjoying this place? Is, is it God who is enjoying the light and the heating? Have you heard God complaining about gold? No. No. It's actually for us. But he has to put a system in place so that his house. Why? So that those who need to know God when they come, there will be somewhere for them to go. So he's actually putting a system in place so that the house of God can be run. That is a very fact. We are going to spend the money on ourselves. We. It's very important and of course to expand the kingdom of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want us to go to the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 10. Nehemiah chapter 10. All of us to be there. Are we there? Nehemiah chapter 10. We are reading from verse 35. Nehemiah chapter 10 from verse 35. It says this. And we made ordinances to bring the first fruit of our ground and the first fruit of all the fruit of the trees year by year to the house of the Lord. To bring the firstborn of our sons and our cattle as it is written in the law. And the firstborn of our heads and, and of our flocks to the house of our God. 
to the priest who minister in the house of our God. Now, the Emmanuel here is mentioning the first fruit. Now, the one test is by the first fruit of your wages. Amen? That's what it is. And we also have the first fruit which they bring to God after they have it. That is done one time in a year. And we will look into that. Where we bring the first fruit to the Lord. Now, Nehemiah goes on to say, verse 37, to bring the first fruit of our dough, our offering, the fruit for all kinds of trees, the new wine, the oil, to the priests, to the storerooms of the house of our God. Where do they bring it to? To the storeroom. Amen? They bring it to the priest, to the storeroom. And then it goes on to say, and to and to bring the tithe of our land to the Levites, for the Levites should receive the tithe in all our farming communities. And the priests, the descendants of Aaron, shall be with the Levites when the Levites receive tithe. And the Levites shall bring up a tenth of the tithe to the house of our God, to the rooms of the storehouse. Hallelujah. For the children of Israel, the children of Levi, shall bring the offering of the grain, of the new wine and the oil to the storerooms where the articles of the sanctuary are, where the priests who minister and the gatekeepers, the singers are, and we will not neglect the house of our God. Amen? Amen. Did you hear the last statement? We will not do what? So when we don't give, what are we doing? We are neglecting the house of our God. And that's a serious thing. So you see that now it's showing that the benefit as is not as actually direct God, it's actually to what? Us. We are neglecting the house of God. That's what we are doing. So he told them to bring the first food and the time. But then when we look at Nehemiah chapter 13, Nehemiah chapter 13, something happened. And I want us to look at that. Chapter 13. Say this from verse 4. Now, before this, Eliashib, the priest, having authority over the storerooms of the house of our God, was allied with Tobias. And he has prepared for him a large room where previously he has stored the grain offerings, the fine incense, the articles, the tithe of the grain, the new wine and oil, which were commanded to be given to the Levites and singers and gatekeepers in the offerings for the priest. Now, Eliash is a priest. He has allied himself with Tobiah. Tobiah is what? The enemies of God. And he has actually given him a room in the house of God. He has actually given him, not just the, the alliance is not out right now, he has actually come to the house of God and given him a, a room inside. Somebody who is an idol worshiper, somebody who is opposed to God, and this is the truth. Just imagine that. This is what happened. Verse 6. But during all days, I was not in Jerusalem. Now, Nehemiah is speaking. He's giving us the reason. He said, During all days, I was not in Jerusalem. For in the 32nd year of our successes, king of Babylon, I have returned to the king. Then, after 30 days, I obtained leave from the king. You remember Nehemiah's story when he asked the king for favor to go? And the king said you should go. Now he has gone back to the king on a short visit. And this is what happened in his absence. So when he came back, verse 7, and I came to Jerusalem and discovered the evil that Eliashim had done for Tobiah in preparing a room for him 
in the courts of the house of God. And it grieved me bitterly. Therefore I threw all the household goods of Shobiah out of the room. That are the gods that he brought into the house of God. Then I commanded them to cleanse the room, and I brought back into them the articles of the house of God with the great offering and the frankincense. I also realized that the portions for the Levites had not been given them. For each of the Levites and the singers who did the work had gone back to where? To the city. So I contested with the rulers and said, Why is the house of God forsaken? And I gathered them together and set them in their place. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you imagine in verse 10, they all agreed to do things, they started, everything was fine. When Nehemiah went on a short holiday, When he went on a short holiday to the king, when he came back, everything that he put in place has been reversed. Everything. To the point that he created a room for the man. And everybody has stopped doing like that. It was so bad, the Levites were hungry. He said, uh, everybody, let's stop the work of God. We have to eat. Our wives and children are hungry. So everybody went to his field. So if you come to the house of God, nothing is happening. After it's gone, bring the worship team, all the ushers, everybody, everybody is going to look for food. When he came, the house of God was collapsed. Everybody was gone. Not even the gate were there. If somebody wants to come to the house of God, they can come and do anything. Everybody was gone. Begin to Short visit. You can see that what they did was not true from their heart. They did it because of the influence of Nehemiah. You understand? So when the man of God shifted for a short time, the whole nation went down. Can you please take care of them? Yeah, take, take that for them, please. When the man of God shifted, everything was reversed within a very short time. Now, this is an Old Testament. We must grow beyond this. This is childish. Are you understanding? This is childish. God expects better from us. That we don't need constant supervision. You don't need somebody in. Uh, now she's like, I need to be your name, that's right. Mm-hmm. Then she says, Sadora, I need to see your name. Do you, you understand? We don't need that. As New Testament says, we are above that. That is what happened to these people. They participated in the house of God and the mandate. You see from this that the tithe is not actually for God. It's for us. <laughs> because who did it affect? The Levites. To the people who are doing the work. And when the man gave the house of God at last. And so spiritually, when you don't keep your like that, you are actually destroying the house of God. But because other people keep it going, you, you, it makes you feel that, oh, you are not really destroying anything. No, by the eyes of God. You are. The fact that other people are keeping it going doesn't mean you are not using it. Do you, do you understand? That is very, very important for us to understand. Now, verse 13. He says, And I appointed as treasures over the house of God, over the storehouse, Shelemiah, the priest, and Zagot, the scribe, and of the Levites, Pedai, and next to them was Hanan, the son of Zagot, the son of Matanai. For they were considered what? They were considered what? And their task was to distribute to their brethren. They were considered faithful. Eliashib was not faithful. 
They were considered faithful. They were considered faithful. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, God has built a system to protect ourselves and to keep His house going. Can you imagine the house of God not functioning and somebody wants to make a sacrifice of their sin in the old house and they go and they know you are in trouble. You are in serious trouble. Or you've done something mistaken with by accident and you want to kill you and you want to run to the city of refuge. Oh, there's no place. You are finished. You'll kill you. Because there's nobody to protect you. Nobody to protect you. And that's exactly what happened here. And so spiritually, we are responsible in building the house of God. And the vision we share is building the house of God. God. And, and for us to build the house of God, those great things that I mentioned are crucial. Prayer, time, and money. It is crucial for us to build the house of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 23. Leviticus chapter 23. Leviticus chapter 23. And then, say, let's read from verse 9. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When you come into the land which I give to you and reap its harvest, then you shall bring a sheep of the first fruit of your harvest to the priest. He shall raise the sheep before the Lord to be accepted on your behalf. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall raise it. Amen. He so said, when you have it, bring what? The first fruit into the house. And the priest will what? Wait. What does it mean to wait? Sacrifice, but also as an offering of thanksgiving and praise. That's why we leave our hands. Amen. Amen. It is thanking God for the year. For all that he has done for his protection, his goodness, that's why the priest will wave it before the Lord. That's the only offering that is waved. Hallelujah. The first fruit. So the first fruit, as we've entered the year, God has protected us, kept us from 2013. He's kept us alive. We come into 2014. And we have strength to work. When we receive our wages, God expects us to bring our best food. The first food. What is the first food in this context? It's the first income that we receive. And he said something to them in verse 14. He said, You shall eat neither bread nor parched grain nor fresh grain until the same day that you have brought an offering to your God. It shall be a statue forever throughout your generation in all your dwellings. In other words, don't eat any of it until what you have given. Those days they actually took the food to the house of God. Now we don't do that. Amen? So we take money. We take animals. We don't do that. We take the income that we have. And God is saying, if we do that, the blessing will come upon us. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Now, anything that God says is fair. When somebody says something is fair, what comes to your mind? Yes. Any other way? Best. Special. Priority. What fair means. This is the best for food. It's a fair food. So this year, as we are building the vision of God, into the vision. That's that word. We start with our first food. Who can eat? A week's wages. Some people can afford to give a month. But whatever you can, God expects you to do something. Amen? Because the first food on your behalf. What you are saying, I'm putting God first. I'm trusting God for the rest of the year that he will bless me. Why? I'm giving my first food. Let's ask the time. He said we should bring the time into the storm that there may be food in the house. Food in the house of God. So that when people are in need, we can help them. But we can go to the nations of the earth and bless orphans in Kenya, bless orphans in Sudan, go to India and bless orphans, send bicycles to the pastors in India, uh, go to Ghana and do the schools and, and, and things like that. We have to send money all to the university students every week for transportation and things like that because they travel. Let's bring to university students to take their own money to, to, to travel and go and teach for free. Amen? So all of this should have to be such so that the children are fed. All of these things take money. So God wants us to invest in the vision. That's why we took time to explain the vision to you so that you understand the vision properly. So when you are giving, you know what you are giving into. Amen? And the evidence is there for you to see. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Brother Patrick, you have your hand raised. Yes. We're going to ask a question. When you say with increase, you are talking about a weight increase. Is that what you are saying? Or yes. this, this, is, this, is, this is this is this is this is more ten percent of your income. Amen. This more ten percent of your income. That's what we are talking about. Now, God can bless you outside of your income. You understand me? God can bless you outside of your income. Now, there is no stipulation that makes sense logically that if God blesses you outside of your income, it makes sense to give a tithe on it. Although there is, there is no legal requirement for that. This one is saying the fruit of your ground. So you went to farm, you farm, you got it. That, that is your income. That is your, you, you understand? So that's what we are talking about. But any other thing God gives you is your discretion. I believe that when you sow, because every seed you sow produces a harvest. So you go beyond. As I said, tithe the debt. Are you understanding? So we haven't started giving yet. Giving, we are willing to give it. We, we, 
We are paying our debt. <laughs> this, this one is paying the debt. We haven't even started talking about giving, so don't confuse it. That's why it says if you don't give, you are, you are profiting. If it's yours, you won't say you are profiting. Are you understanding? If the thing is yours, if you didn't give it, you just didn't give it. You haven't robbed anybody. You just didn't give it. No, God says you have actually robbed me. Why? He sees it as something that already belongs to him. And you are forced to be. Come and take it. So the tithe is a completely different thing. So, so that's what we have to understand. So we come to the giving. The injuries, uh, all the other things. But, but as we are talking about the tithe. It's a debt we owe to God. Think we are doing a favor. Amen. So, so this year, I want all of us to determine that we are going to follow the word of God. That's why we say we follow God's word. Uh -huh. We didn't put the fool in there because uh, it's nice English. No, 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 no. It's not because it's nice English. No, there's a, there's a reason why we put fool. Amen. We just have, we just say to follow God. The fool is there is for a reason. We want to follow God fully, completely, so that we can experience the full blessing that we are trying to see. Of doing things halfway, we haven't seen the full blessing. We want to do it well and receive the blessing that goes with it. So, this year, I want you to determine that you are going to be faithful in your life. You are not going to give any amount in name in the time when it's not, because it will not produce what it's supposed to produce, and you get frustrated. Are you understanding? You will get frustrated because. In your mind, you are doing this thing and which is not producing what you expect. But between you and God, God knows it's not. So it's not going to produce. Amen. So let's do it well and receive the blessing. Amen. Now that, that is that is that is something with an old testament rule that was set there. In the Old Testament time. That it was just to communicate the fact that God sees it as his own. Because if he doesn't see that his own, he wouldn't have demanded an interest. It doesn't apply to us per se. What what we are talking about here is that now you have heard the word, start being faithful. Amen. If you have the ability to give and you have kept it and you have it, you can give. Uh, you know, respect it. But what I'm saying is that you hear the word of God, start being faithful from, from now. Amen. There is no bed of the past on you. But if you, if you feel you are in a position to do that, why, why not? But, but that, that was something that was put there in the Old Testament because the, 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 you know, there was a lot of stubbornness. You know? and, and God had to put things in place to, to put pressure on people to do things. On people to do things. We, we, we are not supposed to be in that place where we have to be under pressure to do things. Amen? So let's be faithful from now. Hallelujah. Anybody have anything to add? Work related. Yeah. Once it's work related, you, you have to pay tithe on it because whatever the bonus is, is, is because of the work. Yeah. Do, do you understand my point? It's not outside of your work, it's, it's your work that produces that. So anything that produces that, that is related to your work, then you have to give on Yeah. Anything that is work related. Yeah. I think it says that. Um Yes, anything that will have profited you. Yes, yes. 
So it's a yes, it's a profit. It's something that is a profit. Yes. Yeah, that's a good question. And, and why? That's a good question. Now this is it. When you earn your money, yeah? When you earn your money from your wages, yeah? You know what the government does? They, they take your tax and then they give you the rest. Now, why, why do they do that? Why don't they give you the money for you to come and pay the tax? Because they don't trust you. Yeah? That's a simple truth. They don't trust you. That's why, for, that's the type. That, that's the queen type, yeah? They become wrong type, yeah? He, he will not give you the option to come to church and decide whether you will give your time. No, no, he will take it before he even gives it to you. Why? There has to be food in the house. So that when people go to the benefit of it, there will be food there. That, that is the world. They take your money. Why? Because there has to be food in the house. Same principle. And they will take it by force. Yeah? They will take it by force. God doesn't do that. God doesn't take it by force. He gives you the option willingly to give. Now, who has the right to take from you? The government or God? Who gave you the life to work in the first place? God. So, the one who has the highest right actually is the God who gives you the strength and the life to work. But you see how the government is taking stress? Yeah? If they know they cannot trust you to bring it to them. So they will take it first. Okay? Now, the, 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 the issue is that if you look at what is here, we should be paying tax on what has profited. Holding from a profit okay? Or somebody has taken it. You get my point? It, it didn't come to us. It didn't come to us. And because it didn't come to us, we can pay on the net. Because it's actually the net that came to us. on the after tax because the tax did not come to you. Although it belongs to you, but you didn't profit from it. Well, yes, you have to you have to measure it, but but, but you have to give you you can't take it. Yes, but if it was profess an income. Once profess an income, the tithe has to pay pay on it before you use it to invest. Point of this, when it was an income, that's when you have to give tithe on it. And then Maybe I'm not getting fully what you are saying. Can you say it?
Whatever you get from the rental property is actually an income. Give an income. Yeah. Because whatever you get, whatever other things you have to pay on it, as far as the government side of things, you have, you have to actually pay. It's an income. But of course, we are talking about the property in terms of what. that way then we we can also go to the point of saying well then we pay our rent do our shopping do everything and then when we finish what is left you understand so that's a dangerous place to go because because everybody will say okay let me finish paying my mortgage let me finish paying this and if something is left the whole thing will fall out do you see my point so that is not a way we can go because because that in, that, in that way, you leave God to the last. This is the first. Amen? Yes. It is being first, not being now. Very important. If you, you raise your hand. Or you change your mind. In answer. Suggestion, what is it? Okay. So God said we should test him. That means, you know, the, the, the test. If tests are easy, everybody will pass. Are you, are you understanding me? So you look at the word, try me, test me. So it means if you have to make an effort, is that you have to make a, a very strong decision to do it. That's why the reward is also high. That's why the reward is also high. Test me, prove me. Okay? See if I will not do what I say. But you have to do it first before you find out. Amen. For some of us, if we are in church, we give our time. Then someday we don't come to church, no time. Yeah, I think that yes. Well, it is one of the best ways to 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 deliver you. You know, that's the best deliverance out of this. Yeah. No, actually, but we, we don't impose that. We don't impose anything on anybody. Everybody must use their free will. But that is a good way. Amen. Amen. Somebody raise their hand here. Yes, yes, actually.
Okay, he's saying that he's got his salary, he's given his 10% already, and then he uses part to buy a car. Months later, he decided to sell the car. He has to pay tithe on the car. Do you know? What is your answer is for Okay, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. It depends if he made a profit on selling the car. So if he bought it for thousand pounds and sell, sold it for thousand two, maybe he got a good deal. It's possible. But that is it. Of course, if you don't make any profit, you don't, you don't need to give it. But this is, he, 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 this question is specific. It's the money that he got, that he paid in tithe from, that he used power to buy a And then he sells the power. He paid money on that amount already. He died on that amount already. Car is not really an investment. Yeah, it's like when you sell your share and you make profit, you have to pay Yeah, 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 it's the same thing. If you don't invest, you share. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's a hundred because the hundred is a profit. Because eight hundred, he has already paid time on the eight hundred that he used to buy already. Are you understanding? Yes. Uh, okay, I'm coming. Yes. Inheritance tax is something that somebody is giving you. Yeah, yeah you have to get one. Yeah. Okay, okay, because I think because it's been, it's been given to you. Yeah, but that's why if your parents were alive, they would not pay tax on it. Because they pay tax on it already. But once it comes, it becomes a profit to you. Everything becomes a profit to you. To your parents, it wasn't a because they did work and tax on it. For you, you are already working, getting your pay, and you've got all this extra. That's why the government is changing. So I think that, yes. I think this. Good, but for most people, the reserve for the end of the year will not work. <laughs> the reserve is a problem. So when you are blessed, give it. You push the air to go because the reserve thing has not worked. Most of us are not reserved. Yeah? Christmas, by the time you, Christmas is finished, yeah? the thing that you were hoping to bring to God is gone to Christmas. Yes. If you do direct debit, 
straight into church account. How do you get it blessed on a Sunday? <laughs> so the physical blessing is, is the thing you are talking about. But what you have to understand, the blessing is actually God who blesses you. We do the physical act, but the answer comes from God. So in fact, He will bless it anyway. And when we pray, it's inclusive of whoever you think about. For me, I think that is even a higher level of prioritizing God. I think what you are actually saying is that yours is so important. I mean, think about it. Do they give you an option when you go for a mortgage to pay yourself when you are ready? Do they give you that option? That option does not even exist. Nobody will give you the option. That, oh, I will lend you 250000 to buy a house. Uh, at the end of the day and the month, I will wait. <laughs> the first comes and pay. You know, wait. The first thing you will sign is your direction. <laughs> or else I'm not getting the money. Because they won't trust you. <laughs> when they tell you the date, and if the day passes, you pay. You understand? So actually, God is greater than that and higher than that. As much as we are not insisting that you do that, it will be a very good thing. <laughs> Amen. A very good thing to do. Last one, we are going. That's also one side. But anyway, we will all have opportunity to come and give because we have to do offerings. Are you getting offerings? Yeah. We, yeah. But of, of, because of offering, all of us, every Sunday, will have to come and give here anyway. Amen. But of course, the time is a more challenging one. So, yes. Yeah. Okay, whilst we are talking, lift up your hands and get them to. We are practicing. Come on. Lift up your hands. Get them to. Yes. Yeah. Reorganize certain things. 
bring in certain advice your way and, 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 and ease in things. You, you see my point? God has a way of solving so many things. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we, we will go more into it to give you the opportunity, but, but this is important. Now, if you need a, a standing order form, uh, you let us know, we'll give you one. We have it available. And I think it's, it's the best deliverance. Amen. It's the best deliverance. Are we ready? Let's fill in our time. And let's fill it well. Eh? Best money. No, you can pay that on this.
you are giving way to the presence of your gospel. It is as they responded to your word, rewarded according to the promise that you have given. That you pour them out the blessing that there will not be room enough to receive. That you will rebuke the devourer for their sake. Cause them to experience it in their lives. Let them come back with a testimony of your faithfulness. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. What you have done before, you can do it again. Show yourself strong as Jehovah Jireh unto your people. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please be reminded of the weekly meeting. Monday prayer meeting, 7 o'clock. Wednesday prayer meeting, 7 o'clock. Friday Bible study, 7 o'clock. Please be here. It's very important. If we are building the vision of God, we need to learn to teach. Amen? We need to pray to support the work of God to go from strength to strength. Amen. 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 Let's lift up our holy hands on the Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Father, we give you glory. May your grace abound towards your people. May your favor be upon them. May you empower them to do your will. May you give them strength to overcome every obstacle. Even as they said your word, anything that will oppose them, any seed of doubt, may you bring it down in Jesus' name. We pull down every stronghold, every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God, we bring it down now in Jesus' name. Amen. We ask for the spirit of obedience to come upon your people, to act according to your will, to receive the blessing that you have for them as a people. We give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's share the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, now I want you to look at your brother or sister and tell them that tithe belongs to God. So don't be an arm robber. It's a sentence. Amen.